Uh, we've gone over 80,000 hours on the project and um, we've gone 330 days without any injuries. So we got a, that's excellent. Spirits were high just before Labor Day 2015 when Chinbro organized a safety celebration at the Sarah Mildred Long Bridge Replacement Job Site alongside the Piscataqua River. Construction on the new bridge, which will replace the current 75-year-old span that links Portsmouth, New Hampshire and Kittery, Maine, was now safely underway after more than two years of CMGC planning and a mobilization that began in November of 2014. Company leaders were quick to point out the well-executed launch. The key to this project is it's very consistent in its performance right now. And it has to do with the teamwork. It has to do with everybody working towards accomplishing the same goals. Sometimes people get so focused on themselves that they lose sight of the big goal. And I can tell you this job doesn't have that going on. And that's why we're having success. It's a model job, right? All the forethought and everything put into to this project, you can see it. You know, I get here about once a month, maybe once every six weeks. Progress is huge, but every single time that I show up, if the telltale things that maybe you look for, like housekeeping isn't good, rigging laying around, whatever it might be, you don't see it here, right? It's a great project, so thank you very much for everything that you do to make it like that. When the new span opens to traffic in 2017, Chinbro will be in charge of demolishing the old bridge through 2018. The aging structure is currently down to a 20-ton capacity due to weakening caused by nearly eight decades of corrosion. The new bridge is constructed of concrete. It's concrete approaches. It's a segmental box girder. It's similar to the existing bridge where the vehicle bridge is on top of the railroad bridge. So there'll be a vehicle bridge and a railroad bridge out to the lift span, which is concrete towers and a 300-foot steel structured lift span. The four concrete towers will be 200 feet tall, consisting of a total of 88 precast segments, which team members are producing on-site using special forms imported from Italy. Basically, we have eight-foot tall, 100-ton tower segments to cast. They're uh, cast with a match cast system, so Basically, the top of one segment becomes the bottom of the next so that they key together and stack to make the new bridge towers. It's very intricate rebar, a lot of embedded items for utilities, it's the stair towers going up the segments, just a lot of detailed work. Guys are working with a specialty form system that's got a steep learning curve. And, you know, uh, Kevin Philbrook has done a lot of this similar work that Chimbro projects in the past. You know, the crew's getting up to speed. And we're optimizing our plan and things are looking up every day. Another key aspect of the job is a piece of equipment that Chinbro developed at the company's recent Little Bay Bridge project in New Hampshire. The use of Chinbro's modularized trestle gives the construction team solid access to the site of the new bridge out in the middle of the swift currents of the Piscataqua River, just as the structure did at Little Bay. The toughest part of this whole project is getting uh, safe access built in the river. The current here is one of the swiftest uh, rivers in North America and the deep foundations. Once we get out of the water and get all the uh, drill shafts in and our piers above the water level, we'll be able to control our destiny a lot better. At Little Bay, it was in the same river. Uh, that's where we're actually, you know, this trestle was designed to work in the Piscataway River. The current, you know, is up four to six knots here. Uh, and to move a barge around, you have to be at slack tide to move it safely. By building the trestle and staying off the water as much as possible, we can work and schedule our work and not have to be dependent on the tides. The drillers can't get to the holes unless they're on the trestle, and we can't start building the bridge until the drillers are done. Um, they put the caissons in, and then we go from there. So the bridge is founded on deep foundations out here in Piscataway River. They're 10 foot diameter drilled shafts. That work is uh, underway. And on top of those is precast concrete foundations that we will set over the drill shafts. And then on top of that, we'll build cast in place approach piers out to the main span. Going forward, I think that our biggest concern is just staying focused. I mean, safety is number one. And you know, I gotta say the DOT, our client uh, between Maine and New Hampshire, they're on board with our safety. They show up at every one of our safety meetings. They have good input. We do have a wellness champion on board that helps us out quite a bit.
but they really appreciate the focus that we put on safety on our crews and they're willing to take it to the next level. I think the project's moving along fantastically. It's a great team atmosphere, nice safe environment, clean. Production is on schedule and if we get behind schedule, um, provisions are made to get it back on schedule. Um, there's a lot of coordination, discussions, a lot of planning that goes in to make sure that we aren't taking two steps back and every step, even if it's a small one, is always going forward. You know, watch your back and watch our back. And seriously, those of you who know me, I'm not at all offended if you say, what the heck are you doing? You know, stop. So um, please feel free, okay? And great work. I mean, I am, I am so proud to bring the Transportation Committee um, everybody and their brother's been out here, everybody wants to see it because it's exciting, because you're doing good work. And everybody um, in the state will say to me, wow, Chimbro, they're a really good contractor, aren't they? And so you guys are really um, making him look good and, and him look good, um, but it's a great project. So thank you for bearing with me, it is heartfelt.